What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. <coughs> wow. That was rough. And I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. <coughs> Too bad I can't edit that out of the video. Jesus Christ. We are currently live on Twitch, streaming this game of Classic Fix to 200 fine folks. Settings as usual. World Domination on Classic Map Auto, set of 60 second turns, expert AI. We don't start with any. Fix cards, balance, splits, dice with alliances on. And Fog and Blizzards are off. I'm in the fifth position. A lot of folks in my chat and in my YouTube comments have been asking me questions to the effect of how do I avoid getting suicided into? And what are some of the tricks to establishing a good position? So I'm going to pay a lot of attention to the early game right now, and then we'll go back to chat. So you kind of have to go with where your, where your troops are. So right now I see Magenta would really like Australia. Magenta's going to get Australia, but there's a four stack in there. So very typical piss away way too many troops in Australia at the start. Also, purple is there to reciprocate. This is good. Green has already offered me a, an alliance, which tells me they're probably a good player. I have a ton of troops in Kamchatka. I don't have... Okay, this is a good example, actually, of how to establish positioning, because I don't have a good start anywhere. Um, so I could add to my seven and walk around Asia for a while and never have a bonus. I could try and walk into North America. I think I want to be friends with Red. Does, do you think red wants North America? Or do you think red wants Europe? I could go for the Africa play. White has too much material in North America. I don't think I'll be able to make that position work. I think the Africa play is my game. But I don't love it. And we'll have to take it slowly and hope we get cards early. Okay, so I'm going to start with five troops. I'm going to see who makes friends with me. Because that's going to influence what directions I feel more confident flowing into. Purple's busy in Asia. I think I can get this Africa, and I think I can get it reasonably quickly. If I roll an 8v3, hopefully we don't lose too many troops. Then I can consolidate those two three stacks. Right. Okay. We'll move the stack into Africa. So now I have a... I have two sevens, a three, and I have a seven. I have a uh, three stack up in Scandinavia that I'm not expecting to survive, but maybe I can use that material in the future. I'm going to conquer Africa in two or three turns, depending on when I get a set. And we go from there. And hopefully I've negotiated a successful position. Uh, green can take SA if they'd like. And then I'd have a great friend on my border. Yeah, I've seen it attack my territory. So there we are. I want green to be friendly. So I want green to take SA and guard there, ideally, and then push into NA and let me have Africa. Uh, so we see the first turn. So everyone's established their position. So purple is going to be fighting with magenta. Red doesn't seem to have uh, guaranteed a spot, but looks like they want Europe. So purple magenta will fight a war of attrition over Australia. We often see that. Don't go for Australia if, if unless it's completely given to you for free. Um, I like my Africa start okay. I'm happy to see green take SA. Uh, white will have NA, and then hopefully green fights or and or red fights with white. And I, yeah, so purple's not going to let magenta take Australia, which is great. Okay, good. So now we've established our positions. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to figure out, as you saw me do with the alliances as well, we want to figure out who wants to be where and how to not be in anyone's way. How do we encourage other people to go in other directions and trust us and leave us alone? Be friends. I want to be friends with everyone until the last possible second, ideally. I don't want anyone to hate me. 
Looks like Magento is going to lose first. Yeah, this is pretty good. And uh, yeah, this chat is really going. So I'm sorry if I haven't been able to keep up. Hot garbage with the resub. Thank you, hot garbage. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. So we were talking about censorship. That's a fun one to talk about. Oh, it looks like we're having an interesting conversation about censorship that I missed. That's good. Good for you guys. What's up, C Bonobo? Oh, don't bot out now, Green. We need you. We need you into the game. Jules I succeed. Hi Pete, how's it going? What's up, risk takers? Troll of facts in the house. What's up, what's up? Oi, oi, Pete, just started risking. It's all your fault. And wow, first time in the game. You got everyone in alliance. How do you determine which one to make the weakest? I don't determine which one to make the weakest. Someone inevitably becomes the weakest. It looks like white is overextending in North America, but they're, they're doubling down. They're saying, I'm taking this. You fucking try and stop me. So now, okay, so check this out, guys. Here's a smart thing you want to do. What I'm going to do on my next one, I'm going to add to my seven, attack the two, hook the three all the way down. And that would be like, well, I'm taking less of Africa. But you got to remember, there's two, three stacks I want to punch there. So ideally, I want to see purple hit me in Egypt, spend out that three. And then I want to see red hit there and leave. And if both of those things happen, then I get to take an even cheaper Africa. So first thing I'll do now is I'll ask. I'll say, you can hit me. Please hit me. Uh, purple hit me, please. Hopefully they get it. I just don't want that three to be, they can hit green too. I just don't want that three to be there. And I would love it if they hit me because, or if, if either way, or hit green, hit green, hit me either way. Please hope, hope he gets it. He's busy in, in Australia though. I mean, it would make sense for purple, objectively, just to add there and get his take off this three, because that would give him Australia next turn more securely. You don't want to roll an eight into a six, right? You get your take off that three. He's not doing it. Too bad. I don't want to have to punch through two threes now, so both of these are locked. That's fine. How are we for cards? We need a cannon. This seven is great. This seven is nice and far away. No one person really has good kill lines on me, which is what you want to see in the early game. You guys usually watch it one, one and a half times on, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't edit, right? So that's how we, we catch up. First time catching the stream live. Thanks for awesome YouTube videos. You're very, very welcome. Very, very welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Pink is going for South America. Okay. Well, the key here is to not rush. It looks like I have a good African position. Oh, the Smither Lou with the gift subs. Thank you, Smither. Thank you, thank you. Five tier one subs. I appreciate it, sir. <laughs> I don't know where to pick up the conversation about censorship. So the thing about open discourse is that the the current mass media, social media structure um, tends to weaponize latent aggression and anger. So we see a breakdown of rational discourse, which is tragic. Um, I'm not interested in angry people yelling at me. It's still Guam. Good one. <laughs> Excellent. Well, where is Guam? It's somewhere in the ocean. So there's a breakdown of rational discourse, which I've noticed. And ideally... Um, 
if you are earnestly trying to solve problems, you, you want and need the person you're talking to and hopefully disagree with on some level to mutually um, want to solve the problem. And when we have institutional inertia, when we have vested interests, uh, what is it that Eric Weinstein calls it? The gated institutional narrative, the gin, right? When we have vested interest in these institutions that we've created continuing to exist, um, all sorts of perverse incentives like for-profit prisons, like, um, you know, the, the fact of our economy being mostly fictional, mostly speculative at this point, come to bear. Does he hit the four? He doesn't need to. Don't hit the four. Good. All right. So purple has the Australian position. I'm lucky I have a set. If I didn't have a set, I'd be in trubs. I think I take Africa next turn using my set. I guard in the single position, North Africa. That's my play. Man, maybe I have lines on magenta. 18 troops for four cards. Wouldn't set me in, though, is the problem. I could get the kill, but then, then someone could eat me. Too bad, because I have great kill lines on them. Christina May, I think that could make risk toxic. How are you, Christina? What's up, buddy? I'm sorry I didn't get back to you the other night. I, I would still love to have that VC, and you can help me set up. I'm just uh, a little swamped at the moment with stuff going on in my personal life, so. I'm sure you guys understand. Green's playing a strange game. Looks like Green's going to single stack in Asia once he can move through the white four. Yeah, we're going to put purple in a single position, and white is going to take North America. White wins this game, all things being equal. Oh man, he's making it quite easy for me to kill purple. It's getting more tempting to get those four cards. Kill 15 for four? I hit that five though. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe they sit on five cards? Then I kill them next turn? If, if Magenta sits on five cards, I kill them next turn. Guaranteed. I'm gonna make these attacks slowly. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But I take my Africa as planned. It really does help having the 10 set on three, though, I will tell you. Okay. Beatman, I could add this to the list of topics, which, uh, what are you adding, John? You can add whatever you want. I love to talk about anything. Yeah, the Jordan Peterson thing. Imagine something so invasive to life as prison being privatized for profit. As an EU citizen, the idea alone is pretty crazy. Well, bear in mind that from my seat, um, the notion of incarceration in general seems insane. Why as a society we would pay a ridiculous amount of resources to house and feed and clothe criminals when there are homeless people living on the street? Boggles my fucking mind. As I often say, a bullet is 50 cents. But of course, the capital punishment argument is not a popular one. Okay, we do see Magenta take, we do see Magenta hold on five cards. I think it's profitable for me to kill them now. And I will. Here's what, So that's what determines whether or not you want to make a kill. Why do you not use the blitz slider? What would I use it for? Christina, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the gift sub. Much appreciated. What about people who are falsely accused? I think it would be far cheaper in the long run to execute people who are falsely accused than it is to try and deal with the mental health um, repercussions of poverty. It would be a utilitarian net good. And I don't think our justice system is fair to begin with. Well, obviously you would need a fair um, definition of what is a capital crime. Oh, he's stopping me from killing. He's stopping me from killing. Uh, 
Rubble player. Hits my seven. Why? What was the what was the logic there? Okay, so I hate this guy and I want to kill him now, if I could. So the heart is absolutely not sincere. Yeah, you're gonna tell me what to do after hitting my seven? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you is what I'm gonna do. Thank you for the bits, Gil Darren. Thank you, thank you. Too bad, because I had a really good kill on Magenta, too. Weird play. I think no. I think they're honestly. I think their play was to green's not a psycho. Their their play was to deny me um, the kill on magenta. Green is quite good. I'm getting the vibe that they are a grandmaster, perhaps a grandmaster in disguise. Uh, red player sets in with a big ass 17 stack in Europe. They're not finishing the bonus quite yet. How do you change the game settings? You press S on your keyboard, or you go in here and you see the little man icon. That's how you do it on your mobile, or if you just want to click. P, can we ask the real questions, boxers or briefs? <laughs> yeah, go commando. <laughs> Neither boxers nor briefs, that's funny. Hey, Thomas and Enigma, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Magenta's still in three positions. They're going to put green in a single. Green puts himself in North America to contest white. No, they're going to leave a stack in Asia. I don't understand this at all. Make sure that red knows they're good to take. If he was lining up to kill white, though, you don't need 11 for 4. You would still put more troops there. for that kill because that will weaken him substantially. Okay, so she's a 10, but she likes cool ranch Doritos. Thoughts? Well, you don't make her your wife. If she's a 10, you enjoy the Doritos. What's wrong with Doritos?
<laughs> ranch burritos are my favorite kind. Okay, so red takes Europe. Everyone's still alive in this game. Green kills white. Is that what we were predicting? Green is thinking about it. I would not be shocked if they were listening to me right now. Hmm. Green feeds me magenta. Okay, white sets. <laughs> and white says, please get out of my bonus. If you wanted to feed you pink, why did they hit your seven? I'm not sure. Green's play is very unpredictable so far. I kill magenta. A reasonable kill on white too. But white already traded. So I get plus five, red gets plus five, red should be okay with this. Looks like red is okay with this. Okay. I'm open to green. I wouldn't be shocked if green does this. I'm lying to green's face. I wouldn't be, I also wouldn't be shocked if green is listening to me. So yes, this time I'm going to attack white. I love you, Pete, platonically. Thank you. You can love me romantically, too. It just will be unrequited. Uh, yeah, this guy's guaranteed listening to me. So I hate that, right? You play ranked and people uh, join your, your stream. and I mean, it's bannable, so be careful, guys. You can lose your right to play Risk because of it. Pete looks too harmless to not tolerate him speaking on behalf of Red. That's funny. Are you in this game too? I should never stream, but then I could never stream, so it's a double-edged sword. Oh, Ruman King is in the house. How you doing, man? Thank you for the 200 bits. 245 bits. Thank you. Thank you. How you been? Are you competing this season? Green is thinking about what to do. Because he has put himself in a trash position. Yeah, it's going to go like this, I betcha. Green leaves. Going to let white take North America. People will always stream psych no matter the consequences. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm getting too famous. Oh, God, I hate that fucking word. 
as if I sought fame. I'm playing Risk of all fucking games. I'm just having fun, man. Not GM Victor. Hey, man, big fam. This is my first time catching you live. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see ya. Now, unfortunately for white, they are too weak. But also, I really want green to be dead. Maybe green kills white. <laughs> Pete is dominating again. The, the swarm coming in. Yep. Red also breaks. We're not going to let white get, get away with it. White will die. White has two cards that won't set in green in turn, which is perfect. Yes. Red is my fucking buddy. Let's go. Let's win this game. Let's win this game together. That viral YouTube video brought me here. I love board games, strategy games, and YouTube knows me so well. Well, welcome in. It's so nice to see so many new faces, guys. Really, really. Just uh, to touch on what I said earlier, like, the, I hate fame. I hate the concept of fame. I would like my ideas to stand on their own merit. Um, not because you like me or you think I am X, Y, or Z. But I must say that because I can't have... Um, mostly a two-way connection with you, I lose a lot, right? One of the most important things I've learned in, in my life is connecting with other people. And it's a bit tragic to me that this connection only goes one way. Does purple go bad neighbor? No, purple just gets a card. Okay, does green kill white? Gil Darren with the 100 bits, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're worth it, bud. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate it, man. I couldn't work today because it's raining. So here we are, putting some work in. Does your form of connection require a shower afterwards? Only with the ladies. Only with the ladies. And ideally, the shower is part of it. Uh, green did not kill white. Which on four and white card skips. Okay. Cool. I don't need to change the structure. Me and red win given this board state. Now I will go into a heads up with red happily. the only player I need to keep sweet. Someone will take out white for two cards. Green can't kill white. It is instant death. Well, now he can, because it would at least trigger a trade. But yeah, I agree. It wouldn't be a good move. When you watch Pete's stream during class. Marin, you shouldn't be watching me in school, bro. You gotta learn. Hey, Blue Man King with the gift subs. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if you heard earlier, Marin, but uh, I was discussing how many of the pre... How every um, world champion since I started competing is competing in this tournament. We got Misty. We got Cowboy. We got yourself. We got Sin the Dark. We got myself. Let's see. Let's see if any of us can manage to do it again. Probably not. And thank you, Roman King, for the gift subs, bro. I do appreciate it. All right. What? How is White going to get out of this situation? <laughs> Oh, I botted. Well, now I'm less incentivized to take them. 
and more incentivized to push them into another part of the board. Again, I win the game, all things being equal from this position. So I'm actually not super incentivized to take any action. We have my card here. Just chill for a bit. The fact that white bought it is good for me. Maybe I kill them for four cards instead. If they can take a card off somebody else. Or maybe red does it. Again, still good for me. I'm at 82 troops. Red is in second place at 71. Purple is in third at 61. And green is sitting at 33. White has quit the game. So white is a bot. If you were white, what would you do to get your best chance from this position? No, from this position you've lost. Maybe turtle. Zero card for a while. I don't know. You're, you've lost. Uh, red is feeding the white bot cards, which means I probably should take them for 20 and 4. Maybe green does it. Yeah, if you're right, what would you do? Start a new game. Exactly. All right, green sets and gets the 10. Do we see them make a kill? See y'all later. Yep, take it easy, man. He's going to break me. Nice. Puts his stack all the way in. Here. Cool. It will come as no surprise to any of you all how I'm going to get out of this one. But the bot protected him, incidentally. Don't worry, Green, I'll leave. <sighs> Green is sneeze swiping for sure. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. Isn't he just going to roll your stack? Yep. I wonder if red will back you up when purple goes for you after the dust settles. No, red, red red would have no incentive to do that. Red just wins the game, right? The guy who doesn't get picked on. At least he got broken. Yeah, green's gonna blitz my stack. Or they or they try and break Africa. I wonder which one it's gonna be. So this is the metagame on top of the metagame, right? So now we're talking Blitz My Stack. We're talking about um, not just classic fixed strategy, but the whole picture of trying to make video, trying to teach people how to play. Yeah, I know you do. Okay, all right. I'll leave. Right, how to teach people. I, it, it's, a, it's a privilege. 
It really is. That came as a surprise to nobody. And I'm glad you're dead. Okay. We are in the same position we were before, but we are now third place in terms of troops. We are also not interested in anything you have to say. I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> I'll leave, he says. Of course. I'm lying to you. If you're listening to me, I'm lying to you. <laughs> also, stream sniping is a violation of fair play. So you could get your account banned. Just be aware. Sure would be a shame. So now, red players in control, right? Red has the most troops. They have the equivalent amount of generation. Um, I actually get, I get one more troop than them. So I have inevitability, but it's very long-term inevitability. Ooh, but now they have a bot on their border. They should know that red's a bot, and they should deal with that. Do I set here? No. I'll sit. I'll catch the other stack back up. I'm happy with this positioning. This is fine. I will slowly catch back up. I don't even understand the mentality of that green player. I mean, we don't know that he was stream sniping, but it would sure make a lot of sense. I have seen a lot of your videos, so I was 100% sure you would kill Green instantly there if he didn't attack you. There we are! Irk rules. You know me better than I know myself, perhaps. Yeah, so I think Red is making a mistake by card trading with the bot. So we're letting the bot get stronger. He was not for sure. Only all of us knew you were going to destroy him. <laughs> Can somehow play a game? Yeah, well I'm doing I'm doing tournament practice. So probably done for the day after this game, but uh, I'm trying to do as many streams as I can. I'll be on again tomorrow, 1030 my time. So yeah, so red doesn't want to have to deal with that. They might back out now. I can just chill for a while. Until the bot starts stacking on my border, I guess. Let's see if red keeps taking cards here. Almost 300 viewers. Wow. 283. Good, good, good golly, Miss Molly. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe that all of you fine folks are spending your time with me. Thank you so much. Really. Purple doesn't really know how to leverage the Australia position beyond this. I'm in the best position in this game. Red is in the second best position. Red and purple are tied in terms of troops, and I'm in third, but I'm holding 14 territories. Red's only holding 10, so I'm getting an extra troop on top of him, right? I get plus 2, plus 3, which is 5. They get plus 5. 
long term I have the inevitability. It is time well spent? Fuck yeah. Glad to hear it, guys. We're almost thinking about what to do. Carpo Edits has followed. How's it going? I like Pete's position the most, mostly because Europe is such a weak continent due to exposure. Yeah, I think it's Pete and not really all that close. You're certainly a nice company to have a beer with? Well, cheers. I'll enjoy my cup of coffee. All right, Purple's botting. Okay. We don't see them go offline yet. When and if, though, that'll be bad because then Red might want to hit me. Okay, White Buckets takes in Asia. Come to Europe, Pete. Not yet. Not yet. Keep my card up. Get my easy take some pass. I'm in no rush. I, as I say, I do have the inevitability. If it is indeed true that I'm in a 1v1 with red, um, obviously we want to have the attacker's advantage. Their, their main stack being locked, too, is good for me. Purple Boston Pete is going to go ham on red. Yeah, well, I kind of have to, right? Kind of have to is the problem. Yeah, and this is why the scumbag butt out strat is what it is. On what troop count is it worth to go for a kill in fixed? Well, ideally you want to make up most of the troops you, you, you pay. So if there's like five cards, you can hit 20, 20-ish. 20 but that's the most. You want to tear it down based on how many cards they have. But in a circumstance like I was faced with uh, a troll, um, any amount is preferable because they just won't stop. Sometimes the only way to stop a player from ruining your game is to end them. Okay, so purple still not fully botted. He is botted. Fuck. Okay. Well. Fuck. That's too bad. Because it's close. We have the exact same fucking number of troops, man. If Purple comes back from the bot out, they win easy. I hate that. Red's gonna break me? No. Red's gonna stay locked inside themselves? No. I have to kill Red. Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, bots fighting bots in Asia. Sorry, man. I hate this. That's the way the old cookie crumbles. Yeah. 
OMG, you're actually live. Purple is logged back in. How do you know? No, they haven't. And the purple bot takes Asia and continues the expansion. All right. I have enough troops I can hook all the way around. No, they block. They block with a 16. Fuck. Can't let purple bot hold Asia. They'll get way too strong. Oh, this is bad news. Baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Seven v five? Fingers crossed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Switch back to Blitz because the game is broken. And pew. That's where I want to be. Okay. So now you get to watch me kill two bots that are much larger than, well, one that's much larger than me. And this will take a little while. Rampage bot will help hurt purple. I don't think it's a rampage bot. I think it's a continent taking bot. Yeah. See how he's trying to take his bonuses? Or an aggressive bot. Welcome first time chatters. Yeah. Thanks for supporting me. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I love you guys, really. It means a lot. You've definitely lost in situations like this. Well, it's a hard situation, so watch what I do, and you'll get a sense of how to recover. So we're, gonna, we're basically putting the stronger bot in the middle of me and um, purple now, or me and white. So here's how I get fucked if that pulls down. I hope it doesn't roll my 11. But having a 23 blocking me in Australia is just as bad. So we'll do that. I should have taken more in Asia. That was a mistake. So I needed to hit Asia a bit more. Fuck. They're going to roll 13 v 11. Fuck. Okay, I got five cards. Yeah, so my mistake last turn, which might be fatal, was I needed to take more territories in Asia. That was an error. Where does this stack go? Ruman King with the gift subs. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Left the 11 in Oz on Siam. Yeah, I thought about that too. I was worried about the stack going down to block. <coughs> okay, so white bot's gonna catch up to purple bot. I have to play super conservatively now because I'm almost fucking dead. with the bits we got who nickel with the sub thank you guys <coughs> it's nearly impossible no it's not nearly impossible the bots will hit each other too bear in mind <coughs> see 33 v 22 the bots will equalize with each other if you let them hit each other Get into Asia. Get into Asia. Yes! Okay, I think I have to skip here. This is really tough. This is really difficult. Pull back so I can get a card.
Motherfucker! Yeah, now I have to pull back. Concentrating pretty hard on this one. Thank you guys for the follow. Welcome in, Tony. Welcome in, Craner. How you doing, guys? Yeah, this is a tough one. This is a tough finish for you guys to catch live. Purple's going to squeeze out white pretty soon. It didn't even give me a card. Whew. help white here. Yeah, well, how do I get out, though? <coughs> you think it's a GG? We'll see. He's not going to hit me, right? Yeah, you guys are right. I have to move out, but it's too late. So I think I made one crucial error aside to a number of general errors. Which was not hitting the bot in another direction, enabling them to hit only me this way. When I moved when I moved into Australia. Ugh, I don't want to come in third. I mean, I'm pretty well lined up to take second to purple. So hopefully they kill the other bot first. Give me cards. Go go around. Go around me. Go around me. Go around me. Please. He's not he's not doing it, guys. He's not doing it. He's being a dick. Well, at least I get second. That's rough. <laughs> I die. <laughs> Fuck. Dead for sure. All right, GG. I get second. The fucking... It wasn't even the scumbag bot out strat. It was just the regular give up on the game bot out strat. Bobby and Pete. Yes, it happens, guys. It definitely happens. GG.
earning 550 battle points. Uh, losing to a posthumous master. And defeating two beginners, an intermediate, and a master who was trolling me. We probably ranked down? I don't know what I was at, like 2,000 something? 3,706, all right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone 37 and 36 on this account. Thankfully, I am still a Grandmaster. I hope you all enjoy. Do I like battle points? No, I think they are stupid and pointless, but I get why people um, like them, because people like free shit. And who am I to begrudge people their free shit? So. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you all. Probably more than you know. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fix Friday. Every Friday, I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. my time, probably more. But that's what I can commit to right now, and if you are able to support me on Patreon, help me get this work out to more people, I would be most grateful donations are always appreciated and never required ladies and gentlemen thank you all so so much for hanging out with me i appreciate you i love you have a great day everybody for all of you on the path to world domination good games and good luck